It's Mr. C here from Divi Den. In this video, we're going to look at the Divi layout kits, the header modules, how to import them and install them on your website. These come as part of the Divi Den Unicorn bundle. And when you purchase that, you can install all of these. There's nine of them in total. This is a nice selection just to get you started quickly on someone's homepage or possibly on a landing page where you're trying to convert them to do a particular thing. Uh, you can see they all very nicely responsive as well. So let's have a look and see what's inside of the zip files when you download these. First, there's the master header Divi layout kit, the JSON file, which imports all of them. And we also have a CSS file. There's not that much CSS in here because uh, they're reasonably simple, the headers. Uh, and then we've split them into one to nine so you can import them independently. And also we've got a little JPEG file in there, which if you click on it, it will show you which header it is. So we also have the PSD file, which allows you to customize it even further. Or if you want to do a mock-up for your client with a new design, you've got that and you can do it quickly. Okay, so let's import one of these and uh, let's see how it goes. So uh, you want to go to your website, uh, this WordPress, Divi, uh, Divi library, and then click the import export button, import again choose the file we're just going to import the master json file click the import button wait for it to import this will take a little bit longer because there's big images so let's see what we got there we go there's our all our different headers so let's see hmm uh, let's install the first one we've already looked at that so i'm just going to highlight this i need to make, create a new page copy that pages all pages add new then go test and paste that title yes we want to use the divi builder then we want to select a blank page template for us so that it displays nicely for you it doesn't show a header and a footer and then we go add from library and let's add number one there and let's click publish then we can take a quick look and see it will most likely not be perfect uh, let's import another one while we add it just so we can have a couple more in there let's uh, import number four of nine as well let's click update let's go there and reload the page then you'll see see there's no uh, animations on this um, and that's because we need to add the CSS files. So let's go to Divi, uh, Divi library. And then you actually want to go to theme options first, and then go to custom CSS. Then we want to go to the files, the master CSS file, uh, open that in your favorite editor. Control A, Control C, copy all of that info. We want to paste it into this custom CSS box. There we go. Click Save. And then from there, we can go and just reload the page. Try that one. There we go. And now you'll see that the animations are there. Obviously, you can change these little icons. Uh, that's easy enough for you to do. And now our responsive will be there. There we go. So let's assume you want to change the colors. We've made that pretty easy for you. You can simply go into the CSS file and then search for the default red. We've made a note inside of the, all the CSS files where it says default red color to replace anywhere inside of the CSS. So you can copy that color and then find and replace the color with your preferred color. Uh, so let's go find and replace. I already have the Divi purple over here. So I'm just going to go replace all. So you've searched and replaced the color that you want in your CSS file. You copy all of that once more, and then you can just go to theme options again, 
control A and delete and then paste that new CSS in there. Then you can click save. Um, if, let's do it on the reload. If this color doesn't change, it most likely means that it's in the module settings itself. Uh, and then you can go and into that individual module and see if you can change the colors there. To change this red color, we've made it easy for you. You can just go into the page edit screen and then search for that red color, which we searched for earlier. In this case, we're going to look in the module, see if we can find that red. There you go, quite recognizable. I'm just going to replace that with a Divi purple. Then we just want to look through the rest of the items, design and advanced, and see if we see another reference to that red color. If we don't, then we are good to go. As you can see, there's nothing, so we can click save, and then we can update, and then we can go and view the page again. And if we do a hard refresh, that should now be purple. There you go. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.